Welcome back, Honest Man, Fallout 4, Survival. I'm here with Dogbeat. We're in Far Harbor. We're going to talk to Avery, get down to brass tacks here. Nice to see you again. Everything's relatively quiet for once. Need something? I have proof that Dima killed the original Captain Avery. Here. I... but that's... my locket. It was lost in the fire. The skull. It, it can't be. Listen, I, I'm me. I remember everything. I can't be a sin. You're wrong. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. But the evidence is conclusive. You need to accept it. I... I... It's true, isn't it? It's true, isn't it? Do you have any idea what it's like? I do. Everything you know, everything you believe, is a lie. If you're lying to me, this is your one chance to come clean. Understood? I am. Well, I feel like I am, Captain Avery. I'm a sin. They made me believe I'm her. I don't know why. Look, my whole world's been turned upside down, too. Friends, family, I understand. At least you know you're you. Your tragedies are yours, mine. The only thing I can do now is live the way I believe is right. Dima is a murderer and a liar, and he should pay. But if you share this, with anyone here, especially Alan Lee, many innocent people will suffer. Far harbors on the edge. And this will just push everyone right over it. Confront Dima. If you can make him pay, do so. But please, keep that evidence a secret. Aren't you saying that just to protect yourself? I've dedicated my life to trying to keep this rust bucket of an island in one piece. And I'll be damned if this changes anything. Yes, I want to keep it secret, of course. But if you share that, there will be blood. Evidence like this is pretty important, valuable. Hypothetically speaking, how much is it worth to you to keep it secret? Damn you. If you won't do it for principle, then I have your caps. I could pay you 1300 Just promise to keep it secret. I'll keep your secret, Avery. This isn't justice. It's mercy you've done here. Everyone in Far Harbor and Acadia owes you dearly. It's hard to believe before you came here, all hope seemed lost. But now we've taken back homesteads. People are finally coming together. And all of it, it's all because of you. What can I say? If you guys pay well, then that's caps well spent. My people are so mired with their own concerns, I don't think they even realize that you saved us. All of us. Anything I give you or do for you, it, it just isn't enough. But take this, and thank you. Yeah, gains the ability to breathe underwater and protection from radiation. It's eight pounds, though, so it's not like I'm going to carry this thing around necessarily, but... Prizes. We doing business. Dima killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a synth. Yeah, right, and I'm the wait. You're serious, aren't you? I always knew. I fucking knew. But your word alone don't mean nothing. Tell me you got proof. We need proof that Dima and Avery are. You knew that Avery is a synth? Yes. I mean no. I mean, she's always acting so uppity. I mean, I know she's been mainland, but she's still an islander. Here's what I got. That amulet is Avery's, no doubt. And the skull? The skull can be anyone's, but... The doc, Teddy can do some sort of medical test, DNA or something. Learn whether that's Avery or not. 
If it checks out, you come back here. Deep fall. Is this a social visit, or is something alien? Could you examine the skull, Doc? Could you tell me who it belongs to? Not something I hear every day. There are some tests I could run. Seems important to you. Hand it over. All right. This, this, this can't be. It, it's impossible, right? No, no. Avery's been dead for years now. Arcadia's done rigged the game, haven't they? This proof you got there. What do you plan on doing? If you were in my shoes, what would you do? Have a good long drink is what I'd do first. On one hand, People need justice, and criminals need to pay. But folk can go from God-fearing to lynching awful quick. The real question, though, is what you're planning for. I want Dima to pay for what he's done. Make him what? Hmm. Pay. No, no argument there. It's diabolical. Listen, I ain't telling no one nothing. If a single word got out, Whatever you do, don't tell Alan Lee. Otherwise, there'll be a whole lot of blood. Hey, Dima. I hope you don't mind, but I had Chase shadow you. She saw you entering and leaving the nucleus. So, what was in my memory banks? Are we closer to resolving the conflict on this island peacefully? Your memories led me to a gravesite. You killed Captain Avery and replaced her with a sin so you could control Far Harbor. What? That's impossible. Let me see what you found. I... I did it. I killed a woman from Far Harbor and replaced her. I stripped a synth's identity from her and made her an agent. Why did you do it? I needed to calm Far Harbor, a moderate voice, an example of what humanity should be, how we could exist together as equals, but I couldn't live with the memories of the blood on my hands. A human and a synth are both gone because of me. You're a fraud. Maybe you're right. The compromises I've made, all without even knowing, I'm starting to see things more clearly. We have to keep this secret from Far Harbor. If they knew I had done this, they wouldn't destroy just me. They've come after Arcadia, and then without us, the fog condensers will eventually fall into disrepair. Everyone will die. I have an idea. There's still a way we can bring peace. But the fact that I've replaced a human with a synth must remain hidden. So you did all of that on your own? No one else in Acadia is involved? What I've done goes against all of our ideals. I even hid it from myself. So, no, there can't be anyone else. I'll keep your secret, Dima. Thank you. Maybe the guilt will keep me focused. As horrifying as it might be to suggest, this memory you've recovered has given us a new option. If Far Harbor could be made more tranquil by our intervention, then perhaps the same trick will work twice on the children of Atom. We could replace High Confessor Tectus with someone willing to forgive Far Harbor and work towards reconciling. There must be another way we could make things right. None that I can see. The authority of the High Confessor is absolute. 
the children of Adam won't see the need for peace unless he changes his mind. <laughs> yeah, and, and the way to make him change his mind isn't, you know, through sound arguments and logic. It's you murder him and you replace him with a double agent. So, as opposed as Dima is to the Institute and their ways, this, this is he's proposing exactly what the Institute does as standard operating procedure. All right. Tell me what your plan is. This will be difficult for both of us. But I'll play along. But I think it's our only option. I'll need you to leverage your access to the High Confessor and lure him to a secluded location. You should be able to find a spot in the Bay's old command center where you can deal with him discreetly and hide the remains. Once your work is done, return here and the replacement will move in and take command. Do we have to kill the High Confessor? It would be the most reliable way of dealing with him. But any method that removes Tectus from power indefinitely should work. Are the children going to stand down just because this replacement tells them to? Dissent may arise, but the children have seen what happens to those who speak out. Our replacement will leverage that fear to serve the greater good. Yeah, so he'll be a dictator for the greater good, of course. You really think you can get together a convincing replacement? Yes. Helping synths recover what they've lost means we've had to become familiar with memory wipes and facial reconstruction. And I knew Tectus very well when I was still living in the submarine base. I'll use that as the basis for our replacement's new memories. You simply need to deal with the real Confessor Tectus while I... Prepare a volunteer. Yeah, volunteer, I'm sure. Okay. I'll do it. Any ideas on how I can get him alone? Tectus lives in fear of being usurped by his predecessor, Martin. Despite that, in all likelihood, Martin is dead. But if you somehow uncovered evidence of Martin's imminent return, I expect Tectus would be interested hearing all you know in private. All we have to do is manufacture Martin's uprising. To do so, I'll need raw material. Martin recorded many of our conversations. Those in the nucleus have certainly been destroyed, but I built a small refuge for Martin many years ago when he needed respite from the family. Go there and collect any tapes you can find I'll begin work on our replacement. And here, I want you to have this as well, for what you've done for us. Yeah, so the noteworthy part here is that the evidence has been removed. What were you doing up there in my camp? You're a super mutant? I'm surprised you didn't attack me. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Look, I don't really want any trouble. I broke off from the group I came here with a long time ago. I just started seeing things differently when we came to the island. And I couldn't stand how the other super mutants act to humans. I keep to myself up here and train my dogs. Do a bit of trade with people too. At least those that don't open fire on me. Don't see any reason we can't do the same. Come on up if you'd like. <laughs> so I don't know why this scene is broken like it is, but so Erickson, he's the guy who locked Groon inside the Vim pop factory you guys all right yeah you're good uh, that's a nice looking dog you got there 
Where'd you find him? <laughs> to be honest, he kind of found me. Uh, yep. Certainly had a few follow me home before. Uh, here, something for your pop. Did you need something? Oh, blue bandana. So, why don't you hate humans like the rest of your kind seem to? Started seeing things more clearly when we came here. Who knows? Maybe it's the fog. I just don't see what the point of us all killing each other is. Wow. Did you train these dogs? Yeah, as guard dogs. Not all can be trained, though. Most are used to being kicked or shot at. I can only manage a few at a time, though. So unless I find a new home for one of them, I can't really take on any more. You just live out here, by yourself? My kind are mostly stupid brutes. They used to train with a couple people in Far Harbor, but they don't leave the settlement much these days. The rest of the people on the island are worse. Got any tips about the island? Hmm. There's a lighthouse on the south end of the island. Big family of trappers lives there. You interested in the trade? Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, you hungry? Here, have this. Nothing. So that was actually a... A fun little surprise. I wasn't expecting that. I just happened to pass through uh, that location with Erickson. Was Horizon Flight 12, 1207 here? And yeah, I had no idea. I just sort of stumbled into it. Uh, but I did give dog meat the blue bandana that he gave us. So that's pretty nice. Uh, but we're out here to try to find the tapes that Dima mentioned. It's going to be in this culvert. There's going to be an entrance. Uh, there's a ghoulie here. Keep in watch. I don't think that really helps me. Yeah, really small space on the interior here. Just a one room sort of deal. Got a tape here. Sister Gwyneth's visit. Sister Gwyneth came to me last night. She said she'd spent another night thinking, as we discussed, but that she cannot unsee what she believes to be the truth, that Adam cannot be real. We talked for the better part of two hours, discussing back and forth. I reminded her of the gifts of the island, of Adam's blessing, 
of the messengers seen by her brothers and sisters of the family that Adam has granted her. That seemed to calm her finally, and she returned to bed. But now dawn comes, and her questions still linger, raise doubts that I have ignored for some time now, and I'm left with my own question. Is perhaps Gwyneth wiser than she knows? A new path. Adam above, I've lost them. Tectus screams for blood, and the children cheer. I beg for civility, and they whisper traitor behind my back, and I'm left to wonder what I might have done to deserve you taking them away from me. But in the back of my mind, I know. Waning faith is an untended fire. Fail to care for it, and it cannot be rekindled. Thus here I sit, thinking on embers, trying to summon the courage to do what I know I have put off for too long. So I shall step out that door, and when I do, my life begins anew. But for the first time, O Radiant One, its path is out of your hands. Perfect. So, clearly, he was no longer drinking the Kool-Aid. And we have one other tape here, an execution. Dima, I recovered the tapes from Martin's hideout. Excellent. Yes. These look like they'll serve. Let me take a listen. Hmm. Good to hear his voice. Oh. Some grim material to work with. There. No pleasure in twisting the words of an old friend. But I believe Martin would understand. This tape should be sufficient to pique the High Confessor's interest in joining you in the command center. But Tectus is nothing if not wary. Earning his trust before approaching should help guarantee this all plays out more smoothly. You'll then have to dispose of the remains. Old maintenance shaft walls were never terribly well maintained. They should be able to serve your needs. Once you're done, Return here, and we'll send the replacement on his way. Now, are you ready to begin? 
How should I earn Tectus' trust? Prove your dedication to the family. Help when they ask. Show that the children and Tectus can rely on you. He'll be less likely to suspect one of his favorites. Now, are you ready to set this plan in motion? I'm ready. Then I won't keep you any longer. Here, the tape. The fate of this island rests in our works. Hi, Confessor. Greetings, my child. You know you've set quite the example here. True devotion to Faye and family. Now, how may I serve? Any other work you need done? At the moment, no. Perhaps some of the other children might have need of your services. Now, unless you require something else. The launch key for the sub's news. I wanted to ask you about it. The key to division, yes. Reunion with Atom at the flick of a wrist. An object of true power. Lost to the ages, unfortunately. What did you wish to know? If you had the key, would you use it to launch the nuke? To bring about the vision? A question I've asked many a time. To experience instant rebirth as incalculable new worlds. Well, there are few gifts greater. But this island, Adam's kingdom, we have been given stewardship of this place. To abandon it, it would be an affront to everything he has granted us. Such a grand division. It is not our family's path. Hmm. I think you need to reconsider your stance on using the nukes. Really? I will not lie. Hearing such a thing from you does carry weight. But I must know why. Think about it, Confessor. There's no greater way to prove your devotion to Adam than a grand division. Unless that doesn't matter to you. No. No, you're right. True devotion through division. But without the key. Well, there is little we can do. Yeah. If only we had the key. We don't need to wait any longer. I recovered the key. And I say it's time we bring about division. You... you've had it this whole time? This... this was all a test, wasn't it? Indeed. By him? Then let us not delay our reunion another moment. I will address the children. The launch controls are over there. It's time you made division a reality. Don't look at it, dog meat. It's cooler when it just explodes behind you. Yeah, that's how they do it. Far Harbor Survivalist perk. Bonus to all damage and resistance types. So there we go. Oh, Dima's not going to be happy we did that. But that's okay. He's going to get his comeuppance too. Uh, but I think that's where we're going to wrap a, a quick note, I guess, on the path that I'm taking here. Um, for me, I, I think I'm going to use the armor that Dima gave us. 
I did want to get that, Acadia's shield. I need to upgrade it, but this is going to be my armor, my chest plate for the time being. And ultimately trying to upgrade that to the Mark IV synth chest piece is sort of my end game, but that's a long way off. Um, and then certainly the, the perk that we just picked up adds five to all resistance types. So that's nice too. So that's kind of why I wanted to do it that way. Now, uh, astute observers will note that doing it this way means that I don't get the Adam's Bulwark chest piece. And that chest piece, to the best of my knowledge, actually does have the best stats in the game, bar none. By a decent margin, by like 10 or 15. Uh, for both energy and ballistic resistance. But I, d I didn't like that as much, honestly. I, I wanted to go with the synth pieces. And part of it's because the Adam's Bulwark drives off of rads. But even if you're at zero rads, it's plus 15, which is great. But ultimately, I, I didn't think it would be in line with Mary Abernathy. And from a metagame perspective, if I were to play the game again, I'd probably try to do some sort of radiation-based build. And then I would definitely go for Adam's Bulwark. So that's sort of the inside baseball on what's going on there. Uh, but... As I said, I think that's where we're going to wrap it. Um, next time, next time, we still have Dima to deal with. And and what are our options for doing that is the question. We'll find out. Thank you all so much. Please like, subscribe, Mary Abernathy, and dog meat. We're going to see you next time.